Hello guys and welcome to part 5 now of Oxen3. This is the final and last episode. I hope that you've enjoyed this sort of little look at Oxen3 and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. Okay, 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 I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think, um... Are you okay now, really? Yeah, I think. It's just, um... Uh, look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like... just... like, how do I say this? It's Cut. okay, Jonas. Just say what's on your brain. I just want to say... I just... I think it would have been cool, us living together for... for whatever, senior year. And I'm just... glad I met you, that's all. Oh, Jesus, what are you doing jumping across that? There's another, there's like Relax. a- Relax, it's not as big a jump as it looks. You, uh, barely made it, but okay, I guess. Man, so yeah, I only wanted to say before anything else happens that I'm just glad we met. So, that's all. <laughs> I'm glad too, okay? So there, it's out in the open, we're both glad. Okay, good. So, that's it. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. Yeah, let's finish strong now. No half-acidness at the end. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm just gonna say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight, but... You know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert. Right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. Who's Ash- Oh, you mean Amanda? My really good friend Amanda who's moving away forever? That Amanda? Yeah, that Amanda, who stole her mom's car. And I don't care if you didn't know she didn't have permission to take it, cause Whatever, fine. But you knew you didn't have permission to go to that show. <sighs> Just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. However inadvertently, my little heart can't handle the excitement. Mm, nope, not promising that. What's the point in living if not to boost cars for an underworld criminal empire? I guess I can't answer that. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. That sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something. Uh, commit? What the hell does that mean? You're in high school. <laughs> I know, I know. I sound like I'm 40, but I'm just, I don't know. It's going to be, it's not going to be casual anymore. It's going to be a thing, a real thing. That's all. So just get used to her. That's all I'm saying. Come on, let's get to the century before the last boat comes. I got to get the uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. What history project? They still make you do, like, work with so little left in the year? Unfortunately. This is, it's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kind of, I don't know. And I mean, it's funny, I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Really? Why leave? I mean, yeah, it can suck sometimes, but it's pretty much like everywhere else. This is gonna sound weird, but everybody knows me here. I know you think I have it on Easy Street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like, how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Just don't put so much pressure on yourself, Michael. Who cares what they think? You're gonna... You're gonna do what you're gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Yes, I will. Uh, let's head back before Karen Strands is here. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? Uh, it was hard? I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him... Huh, that's actually... <laughs> that's not bad. <laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, man.
Alex? Stop it. Just stop. Ugh. You got, you know, you went bad again. I couldn't get you out of it. I saw, I saw Michael again. I just, I'm sorry. When I'm there, I just get sucked into it like nothing happened. Come on, it's all right. I think I can hear Ren and Nona down there. Just don't say anything to them, okay? Say anything about what? What are you guys talking about? We're dating. We're dating. Nona and I, we're gonna date. Rin, dude, what did I just say? What? They asked. Mazel tov on the happy couple. <laughs> Thank you. No, stop. It's one date at the Revival Theater. We're just gonna sit quietly in the dark and watch a documentary on Bosnian genocide. Hmm. Romantic. Aw, how cute. Riviera is a great movie house. And the ushers can't tell where you're putting your hands if you sit in row G, by the way. Please don't tell him that. Anyways, I know it's stupid to be planning or whatever for this, but I don't know. I just feel like maybe it's not that insignificant or whatever. Whatever. Truly the language of love. Well, I'm taking folk. Is, can you, like, I want to just do this. Um, uh, so if this thing doesn't bend right, this might be, like, the last time any of us are us. So, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. <sighs> It's been fun. In a really, really, really strange way, I guess it has. Come on, let's take a picture. Really quick. Ren, no. Just really quick. Custer's Last Stand style. Yeah, let's do it. We're on a beach. Kind of. Let's keep a shred of normal here. <sighs> okay, I guess. Let's do this. Once we're in there, the door won't open again since the system's so convoluted. So, make sure you're ready to finish this before we go inside. We'll be back. Oh, I know. Oof. Okay. I... Uh, all right. I am coming with you, you know. Yeah, yeah. Listen, Alex, I don't want to say anything to Ren or Nona, but the truth of it is I'm not feeling too awesome right now. It's kind of getting worse. Just hang in there, Jonas, okay? I know you feel like a garbage snowman right now, but we're almost done. Hey, what do you call a man who's short of time? Huh? Have you heard mm, the- No clue. Tim. You call him Tim. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's... it feels, like, wrong to see one of these when we're not in a... a time loop, right? <laughs> yeah, it kinda does. It's kinda spooky, right? The beds? Thinking they would've slept here while the rest of us burned? Yeah, but do you think it would even have worked? Like, if... if Yugoslavia, or whoever, dropped an A-bomb on their heads? No, I think it would've worked. There's enough tons of concrete here to keep them from... Mutining out, I think. Wait, before... 
Look, if something happens on the other side of this door, just don't be stupid. Cut and run, okay? If I turn into dead weight or start freaking out... If that's how you feel, but I'm not about to even, like, think like that right now. Think positive. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you know what? There, there's like the tenth time we've heard this song all night. There is something going on with... Like, why would this specific... Yeah, it, it's probably a trick, Jonas. The ghosts know we're closing in on, on booting them out, and they're throwing up distractions to distract you. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. But, I mean, it's, it's ghosts. And I'm not about to throw away the possibility this is something... else. I'll be fast, but it's just too strange. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna give you some leeway here because I'd want it with Michael, so take a look. Okay, good. Thank you. It's like breaking or something. Can you... can you fix it? I mean... It's... it sounds like it's her. Like a recording, or it's just... it's my mom. That's her voice in the static. You can hear that, right? I mean, I know you don't know what she sounded like, but... I can... kinda hear it. Is it possible? Do you, th do you think it's possible? I mean, we've been, like, talking with ghosts the entire night. Do you think it's... like it could be, right? It's possible. I mean, a lot's happened tonight in this general realm of craziness, so... I'm not gonna rule it out. God, she's, like, so close. You can just... Can you just try and tune in the signal? This tape player thing isn't even... I have no clue what's going on, but... If you uh, can... Sure, I, I can... I can try, I guess. Yeah, cause this... I don't know how to get this... clearer, or whatever. I just can't... I just can't really get this to change, or... Uh, Mom, can you... Uh, You know, the truth is, we could have left whenever we wanted. We weren't prisoners of the cave. What are you talking about? You could leave? What does that mean? Us being here at all is a constant struggle. We've had our fingers dug into the cliff's edge, waiting and trying to come back. Waiting and screaming at anyone who give us so much as a glance. You have to let go. You have to... Why haven't you just let yourself... Because it's scary, that's why. Have you ever stared into nothing and moved with it and felt a part in it? It's worse than when we were wilting into atoms. I can imagine it, okay? You think contemplating annihilation makes you special? What you can imagine is a toddler's toy bag compared to facing real extinction. Don't speak to us of imagination. Whatever you think you can do, you can't. We're not going back. We won't go back. Child, wait your turn.
Jonas, Jonas, are you, are you here? Hello, somebody there? close the hole I've come to to do what Maggie Adler tried to do 50 years ago all right <laughs> okay well it didn't work then why would it work now god you're so spoiled you don't even know the cost of things <laughs> closing the hole with your stupid toy will spare your your friends from our bloom sure but it will seal you up in here with us oh, getting started already okay you want to check it with the void fuck we can see how long you stay on the throttle. Shut up. Whatever you say doesn't matter anymore. On the contrary, it actually matters quite a deal. One last chance. You die. You can leave, you know. Through the gate you opened. Michael what to do about Clarissa, okay? But Michael's dead. How could I even... Whoa, wait, what? what's happening? Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? Jonas, if you're still there, this would be a great time to say something. When Jonas gets on your, uh, case about his mom, just do what you feel is best, okay? His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. W what is... H how is this possible? W what's going on? <sighs> well, that could have gone better. <sighs> right. Time loop. Just don't try and influence Michael. He can live his own life. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here.
Oh, hey, I didn't even know you were home. You're always so quiet. It's like living with a little fairy tale mouse. Wait, I'm... This is our house. I'm not. I can't play Amnesia Spy Girl right now. Seriously, pretend to snap Ren's neck on your own time. I've been, like, struggling with this stupid speech, the graduation thing. I don't want it to be just the usual blah blah we've come so far type stuff. It should have, like, a point, right? It should bring you to your feet about something. Uh, sure, yeah. Give it a theme. I'm guessing Mom probably told you about my scholarship to state, right? I don't really know how I feel about it. I mean, I feel it's not like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing, obviously. What? That's great! Congratulations! I, I mean, that that's awesome. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thanks. It's just, you know, it seems like half the teachers are alumni, and... Actually, I'm about to be really arrogant and presumptuous and say mean things for no real reason other than I think I know better, so forget it. I've bored you enough. I'm boring Michael, me... Michael, say it. Come on, you can't take me to the water's edge of an idea here and then not jump in. That's just cruel. No, no, really. I'm talking out of my ass. It's fine. Listen, here's the... <sighs> you can't tell mom or dad, but Clarissa and I are talking about just leaving. Getting an apartment somewhere and... and just doing... Oh, Michael, seriously? You'd leave me here all alone with these boring, bland people who... who don't come up with stuff like grocery cart chariot race? You came up with that one, so... You're not really losing out. I'd still visit all the time, so... You know. She's been really pushing for it, wanting to look for places, and I... Uh, I'm into the idea. I really am. I just... I wouldn't feel right about it if I didn't have your, like, blessing first. So, can you just wave your hand over my head or something and say I'm all right to do this? Michael, honestly, I don't think it matters. O or it, it doesn't matter what I think, at least. It matters to me. Alex, just get good friends, okay? And when you're with those friends, just say yes to everything. And keep away from boys when you talk to them, it feels like you're performing. But also, stay away from girls who look you in the eye for too long. And match every beer with a water. And take classes outside of school. Michael, what is... what's this for? What, what are you doing? This is just... this is a just-in-case package, okay? Just in case I'm not around. And I love you, and you're amazing, and that's it. So... Uh, thanks, I think. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Hey, she's waking up. Hey, is she all right? Ugh, ouch. Is, um, <clears throat> is everyone doing all right? Still, um, yourselves? Yeah, I think we're all accounted for, right? Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, my arm fell asleep, Jonas but... carried you here. Yeah, 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 okay. The, the important thing is, whatever you did in the cave, it worked. The tear, the hole, it's fixed. The ghosts are gone. We're going home. Or at least they've... they've stopped trying to eat our souls. Jonas, what happened to you in the shelter? I was so... I just saw you disappear. I didn't... I didn't know what to think. What happened? I thought I heard my mom. And when Alex, when we tried to tune into this signal, I was... I don't know what it looked like from your end, but... It was like I'd fallen into a memory with my dad. I don't know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have set us off course or whatever. What happened? What was it like? What'd you, like, do? It was before my mom died, before she even got sick, and, I don't know, it was just kind of a normal summer day, sitting in the living room watching TV with him. No, I had something like that, too. Did anyone else? Did anyone... I'm sorry, but, like, did anyone have dreams or whatever about the past when they were, uh, taken during the night? Um, yeah. Yeah, a few. What was, um, what was yours? It was my dad. It was a night where... I don't even remember why she was mad at me. Probably something I said to our mom, but I don't know why that who cares night would visit. I wouldn't put much thought into it, Clarissa. Really. Yeah, it doesn't matter now. It's totally random chance, Clarissa. We were getting pushed out into the timescape or whatever you want to call it. It's random. I don't know about that, honey. Sometimes... I just think the universe carries a real love for the opera. I can't believe everything that happened. I just... I feel like we should tell everyone we know. Like, go on a freaking book tour, but... I think we'd sound nuts, honestly. I, I mean, it's not like... It's not like we have any proof any of this actually happened. Hey, is this your book? 
Oh man, this is... We're gonna be the best couple ever. Uh, okay, slow down. I lost it on the way. I thought for sure some commuter would have just tossed it overboard. Hey, that reminds me. What were we... We were talking about something stupid right before Alex woke up. Prom? Uh, prom. 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 I am definitely skipping this one. I'm deferring the crown to that wheelchair girl. Are you going, Alex? Are we supposed to still spike the punch or just bring in flasks? Uh, I guess. I mean, if I find a date, you know. I'm not gonna go stag. I have my dignity. Ben Owens will ask you. Or rather, he's going to ask you unless I physically prevent him. Eh, you can do better. Come on, come with me and Nona. We'll go dress shopping. It'll be fun. It'll be like a movie montage, except none of us are prostitutes and there's no rich guy. Uh, sounds great. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should spiffy up once in my life. All right, just don't say phrases like that while we're out and we'll be solid. All right, you know what? It's picture time. Oh my god, come on. Nona. <sighs> yeah, I guess we should. Tonight's been, um, noteworthy. Noteworthy. That is a way to say it. Yeah, I'd probably say it another way. Let's, um, let's actually move outside so we can get the light. Sure. Ren, what is that book, anyway? I don't know. I can hardly make heads or tails out of what the hell he's talking about half the time. Here's good for the... yeah, just here. Like, look. Like, this, here. When I was younger, I could remember anything, whether it happened or not. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Wait, didn't you... Cheese! Before we'd left, I told my mom I was spending the night at a friend's house. And when I got back, I didn't see any reason to change that story. And you know what? I still don't. The island did one good thing, forcing Ren and Nona together. Which is nice, because they're still together, actually. Though they go to different schools now. Trying out the long distance thing, I guess. Clarissa left to study English literature. She was thinking of dropping out, but is keeping at it for now. We talk sometimes. Rarely, but sometimes. I hear she's scared of the ocean now. And she got a dog too, if you care. Jonas was the first to introduce me as his sister. You know, without the step part in front of it. And it was weird at first, but it's the truth, he's my brother. He goes to school in town and we see each other a lot. It's funny, what happened on the island used to pop into my head every single day, and then every other day. And then a week went by and I realized I hadn't thought about it at all. I guess that's, I don't know, it's good, I think. But anyways, I, um, well, if it matters. I'm taking some time off. Just to, I don't know, readjust my priorities, figure out what I want to do. But anyways, what time is it? <gasps> yeah, sorry, I gotta run or I'll miss the ferry. Ren's dragging me out to Edwards Island for that yearly beach party thing. And I have to pick up what's-his-name Jonas, too. Ugh, I hope he's not weird or mean or something. Whatever. I'm sure it'll be fun. It's something to do, right?